All right, fellow Toastmasters, the me, me, me generation. Does anyone have any idea what generation I could be talking about? Baby boomers. Gen X. No, I am referring to the millennials. I hear that word and I crave. And what makes me crave more is that I am technically a millennial. <laughs> I fall between the, the years of 1982 to 2000. I'm dead in the center of being a millennial. And I feel like everywhere I go, everywhere I look, I hear something about millennials. I see things, I see articles about them. And it just makes me think, why is everyone obsessing about me? <laughs> what is up with this me, me, me generation? What are they talking about? How narcissistic can I be? <laughs> well, I, I hear it in the workplace, and I see it on TV, and now I'm hearing it in a lot of other pop culture things, and I'll, I'll get into that, but some of the research that I've done when I look into millennials, I see words like high maintenance, lazy, overly praised, and can't interact face to face. And I just have to say, I disagree. <laughs> I think people are going a little overboard on their perceptions and stereotypes of millennials. And for example, the show Survivor, is everyone familiar with Survivor? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> this season, this is the second season I've watched ever, just so happens to be themed Gen Xers versus Millennials. And right off the bat, when all the contestants are grouping up, the Gen Xers are saying, oh, these millennials, they've had everything handed to them. We've had to work hard for where we've gotten, and no one helped me. I did it all on my own. And then the millennials are like, oh, they think we're so lazy, but we're innovative. Why do I have to work 15 years to, to get somewhere, I should be able to do it in five years. They want to think uh, in, with innovation and to be on a fast track for success. And a lot of that has happened. There are a lot of innovations like Airbnb and Uber where it is the millennial generation thinking with ease and practicality. So I, I watch this show and I can't help but root for those millennials. I want them to win! <laughs> and they are slowly getting voted off the island <laughs> week after week. And they are, to some fault, they are a little clicky with their tribe members, which might have to go into some of the narcissism and selfishness. But anyways, <laughs> um, going into a little bit more of the pop culture and uh, the TV, I saw something um, where there's this song that Cher wrote with um, her partner at the time. What was his name? Sonny Bono? Yes. Um, and it's called I've Got You, Babe. And it goes like, oh, I've got you to hold my hand, and I've got you to understand. <laughs> and Cher just rewrote it with uh, James Corden, who's a talk show host for millennials, and it was called, I've Got You Bay. <laughs> and she changed the lyrics, and some of them went, they say we're young and we don't know how to find love without using your phone. <laughs> and it goes, well, I don't know if all that's true, because you swiped me, and baby, I swiped you. <laughs> and I was going to play the song, but uh, it gets a little um, inappropriate, so you can look it up later. But that kind of plays into the whole theory of millennials can't do anything face to face and that we're not social, but we are very social. And although we do use our phones a lot to socialize, um, I think I talk more to my friends because of my phone than if I didn't have all of these apps. And there is a change in the dating culture with the, these apps, but I think that if these were around for other generations, they would totally be using this as well, <clears throat> instead of doing it the old-fashioned way. <laughs> and finally, millennials in the workplace. This is something that I think affects 
a lot of us here. How many of us are technically millennials? Yes. <laughs> Thank you, Doug. <laughs> um, Sorry. I've, <laughs> I've sat in meetings where I've heard people say, oh, these millennials, they don't know how to talk to us. Like, if you want to get anything from them, you have to IM them, and they're not going to answer their phone. And I'm like, am I really that hard to talk to? Is that really true? Because I don't, I don't think it is. I think that it's we want to do things with ease, and uh, we're always thinking fast, and I think those are immediate ways to get answers. And... We're going to be, right now, we're 75% of, or we're going to be 75% of the workforce in 2030, and I think that everyone will figure out how to deal with us <laughs> and interact with us, and that we will be a good thing in the workplace, and we should really just be looking out for that next generation, because yeah. they are coming out born with the phone in the hand already. And I bet they're going to be even lazier than us. <laughs> <laughs>